Hey, today I'm gonna show you a platform that I found like a month ago and now I use it all the time. All the time? This is basically like mother of all web scraping tools. It even integrates with Zapier and I have so many automation flows with this, it's game changing. It's called Apify. So we go to Apify store. Here it has a bunch of pre-built web scraping templates. You wanna extract data from TikTok, Google, Facebook, Reddit, Instagram, LinkedIn, Glassdoor, like Trustpilot. Actually, let me see if Trustpilot is actually here. I'm gonna search for trust palette. Yep, it's there. What's the other one that people talk about for food? What was that called? Yelp, yes. If you're in food space, you can scrape Yelp. If you're like, you know, e-commerce space, we have Amazon. We got uh, AliExpress. Literally, whatever your business is and whatever kind of data you need to scrape, it probably has an app built for it automatically. Some of the apps are built by the company Apify and some of the apps are built by external developers. And then sometimes they have a free plan or they have a trial or like a pay plan, but you can always try an actor for free and there's something so useful and you'll be willing to invest in. And for every actor, you get to see how many people have used it in the past month or how many stars it has. So it basically tells you the quality of that actor, but we'll dive in really shortly on how to actually pick the right automation, like how to figure out which one's actually gonna be useful or or not. This is what Apify is. So let's see how we can use it. So let's say we want to do simple web scraping. We want to see, you know, if any competitors are using like stuffing their keywords and they're hiding it with a background color. We want to see what keywords they're stuffing in that they're hiding. What are you hiding? So we can maybe use the same keywords for our SEO work. So here I'm going to go look for websites, content crawlers. So this is the first result that comes in. If I go into this actor, I get to see it. I can try for free. There is no credit card required. That's great. The metrics here says 2.8K monthly users, four or five stars, and 99.9% .9 runs succeed. So that's important. You want to look for an actor that has a really high success rate just because it tells you like, it's just a good quality actor because these are all like different sort of bots built by different people. So yeah, this seems like this is gonna be a good fit. And then if I go to main features here, I get to see what I can extract, you know, what kind of input I would need and what output format I should be expecting. And here you can go to the input and you can read API docs, issue logs, change logs, nothing necessary if you're not super technical. So let's try this for free. Now I'm here in Apify console. This is where like I can see all my actors. I can like build my runs, my workflows with multiple actors. But I usually use Zapier because I have like other integrations as well, which is a video I'm gonna do for lead generation like next week. So subscribe to the channel and watch the video how I do Apify and lead generation automation using AI for all personalization stuff. Anyway, going back to trying out this actor, don't get overwhelmed with like well, all this stuff on the screen. Really what we're gonna do here is like look for where we're gonna add our input. So here it says like start URL. So I'm just gonna add my URL. If it shows an error, just add like HTTPS and then your URL should be eligible. And here like I can do some crawler settings like you know if i want to extend to other urls from the sitemap or whatnot or how many what depth i want how many pages i want to scroll and whatnot just start with something simple and like you know build your way accordingly once you kind of get a feel for how the actor runs on a free plan you get like five dollars of free usage every month usage for each typical run is like fraction of a cent usually like i'm still using paid plan i've been using it for two months for a whole bunch of different workflows, a whole bunch of different actors. So I've just put in my input here. So let's just crawl and start the run. So here it's just gonna use like, you know, the their computing power and the backend and stuff to run this automation. Of course, if you wanted to make it faster, you can, when you upgrade to the paid plan, it will give you more compute so you can run your automations faster. But for now, I've been only using the free plan. It's okay for me, cause like I use all my automations, all my, web scraping with some automations and I don't need the results immediately. It doesn't take like that long, like maybe like a minute or two based on like how big the crawling or whatever automation you're running. But yeah, here right now my usage is $3.41. And even after this run, it would probably go to 3.42 maybe, but uh, we'll see. It's pretty good and it's gonna show you how much it costs for every automation run as well. Okay, now here it says run has ended. So now here we get to see the results. So here's the text version of the results i can go to markdown here or i can go to all fields which is where i get to see like you know all the different columns it has generated for that extraction i can go into the json form as well if that's something you want or you can export the results as well so i'm just gonna go here export one result and then you know i can pick up any file type i want but basically here if you just look at it the text 
it has like gone through the whole website. You know, it doesn't seem much, but if we just keep scrolling here vertically, it's like all the text from the website. So I use this flow to like basically go through like someone's website and like, you know, get the gather information from it so I can craft my personalized outreach message. That's basically it. If you want another example, we can just go to Apify store. Maybe this time we go to social media. So I'm just gonna search Instagram. I will do Instagram post scraper. Here, this one says like try for free or pay $2.30 for 1000 results. So again, it's not expensive. And then the success rate here is 99.8% as well, which is pretty Pretty good. It was modified two days ago. So there's some new updates here. But here, if we go here, we look at what we can do. Input parameter is like the name of the user, or I can also add the link to the post. And now this is the output example here where I get the post, I get the text, I get the URL, the number of comments, the number of likes. Let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna try here for free. And like I said, my results are still $3.41, which hasn't changed. Like the last run was really cheap. I can go here to my runs and I can get to see all the runs that I have done for all the different tools within Apify. And I'm just gonna go back here though to my actor, which I was just gonna use. And here I'm gonna do this post or I can do a username. So I'm just gonna do a post here because I wanted to run quickly and maximum post per profile. So if you're like doing a username, you can just like select number of posts you wanna do. And then we're just gonna give it a run. Let's see how much it costs now. We see our memory is being used here of four gigabytes and the run has ended. Okay, if we go to export results here, for a second, I thought it didn't work, but yeah, here it is. So now we have the text, we have the post URL, number of comments, number of likes, the posted. So you can get the data in the JSON file, you can get it in the table format, you can export the data, and you can integrate this with Zapier as well or any other automation platforms that you run to like integrate into your existing workflows or whatever you're trying to accomplish or with this automation. Yeah, our cost is still 3.41. And if we go up here, the price for this automation was 0.0023 cents. So as you can see, like a bunch of these automations are like actually really cheap to run and of course if you're doing it at scale you do save a lot of time so it's like worth the effort you can scroll different automations by like you know social media so we have facebook instagram reddit you can just keep loading and loading and all these automations are pre-built if you can go to e-commerce if that's where your jam is we have like all these integrations so yeah i feel like so far based on what i do i haven't been able to not find an automation uh, yes it's all here it's super thorough actually in terms of all the integrations it has built in by the community members. And uh, yeah, if you're like in growth marketing, you're a solopreneur, you just wanna like leverage the AI and automation to get stuff done faster. Maybe like you have a family, you have a job and you're just trying to build a side hustle and you wanna get things faster, give it a shot. Maybe it's gonna be useful and it's gonna get you some results. I hope this was useful. Leave a thumbs up if this video made any sense to you at all. And uh, for more tools and tricks, it's gonna help you save time. Give a subscribe. Also subscribe to my free newsletter for like weekly summary of the best tools and tricks. It's like a short read on every Saturday. I'll see you next time.